Okay, so Emily, um, looks like we don't have anyone in the attendee <laughs> yet, which is okay. Awesome. So yeah. I'm gonna kind of leave it up to you. We can wait for a little while if you would like, or you can start giving your spiel and just do it as you normally would. If mm -hmm. anybody does come in, if they have any questions, you can um, answer those questions just so there'll be something to that we can um, make sure that gets up to see all of our lovely okay. students able to make it tonight. So yeah, since this is recording, I might as well. I mean, Sounds it's not going to be the full 45 minutes if okay. you know, there aren't questions if that's okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Is there a way you can let me know if there are students in there in here yep, or should I absolutely. just leave the Q&A up? Yeah, I would just say you can actually leave that participant. Um, so there's a participants button at the top and okay. should be an attendee. So if you want to just keep that up in the corner. I see it. Okay. That, I think that'll probably be the best way to do that. Yeah. Okay. Well, Great. Um, awesome. just let me know and I can go ahead and get started. Yeah, I would say, um, Let's give it maybe two more minutes just so we can get to that 205 mark. Hopefully people are just running a little late and okay. you can go ahead and take it away at that point. All right. Just let me know. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Okay, Emily, I'm going to go ahead and unshare my screen and you can start whenever you're ready. Okay, thank you. Yeah. All right. Hi, everyone. My name is Emily Gruber. I'm an admission counselor with Baldwin Wallace University. Today, I'm just going to be giving you an overview about everything BW. So we're going to be talking about academics, um, student life, campus life, financial aid, and how to apply. So I'm really excited to chat with you guys today about that. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and just give y'all a little presentation. All right, so this is our handy dandy Prezi um, that we like to present to students. So we're just gonna go ahead and get started. Like I said, um, I am an admission counselor with Baldwin Wallace University. We are located in Berea, Ohio, which is about 20 minutes from Cleveland. So we're gonna talk about all the opportunities that we have um, in terms of location and our academics and things like that. And then I'm going to save some time for questions at the end if y'all have any questions. So let's see if it'll work. Okay, here we go. So I'm just gonna, gonna start off with um, some fun things first. I'm gonna talk about our student life and campus life a little bit, and then we'll move into academics. Um, so in terms of student life, we have about 100, and cl 100 clubs and organizations on campus. Um, everything from social organizations, such as fraternity and sorority life. Um, we have academic clubs, we have intramurals, service, study abroad. So really anything you may be interested in getting involved with, um, we offer on campus. If you're really not into the fraternity and sorority life for social organizations, we also have a great organization called Night on the Town, where we take students off campus and have them explore the Cleveland area. Um, so I know a lot of you are probably 
mostly from the Indiana area. Um, so it's a really great way to get to explore Cleveland. Um, so that's something that you can look into as well. So you can see the full list on our website, but I just think there's so many opportunities for students to get involved on campus. And if we don't have an organization that you're really interested in, you can always create one. Um, that's something you can work out with our student life office. And then if there's a faculty member to kind of oversee those meetings, that's something that you can look into. So I think there's so many ways students can get involved and I feel like there's always something for someone on campus. That makes it super exciting. And then we're gonna kind of move into meaningful and belonging. Um, so I wanna talk a little bit about campus life and commuter life, just kind of depending where you are. Um, so for campus life, we have about 10 residence halls on our campus. Your first year, you will be put in a traditional style dorm. So that's really that full college experience. Um, you'll have a roommate, shower shoes, shower caddy, that full college experience that you see in the movies. So that's really exciting. And I think it's a great opportunity to immerse students on campus. Um, so that's something you can look forward to for your first year. And then after that, you have the opportunity to live in a single style dorm. Um, we have triple style and our suite styles are actually super popular. Um, those hold four to five students in a room, two to three bedrooms, and then you get private bathrooms. So I think that's really appealing to our upperclassmen students. So that's something you can look forward to. We also built a residence hall above a Starbucks a few years ago. So that's been super popular for students. Um, if you really like Starbucks, which I know I'm there every single day, you can actually get that on your meal swipe. Um, so there's just so many living opportunities for students. We do have a two-year residency requirement. So you are required to live on campus the first two years. And then after that, your junior and senior year, you can choose to move off campus. You can stay on campus if you want. We do have on-campus apartments um, that provide a living room, kitchen, bedroom, and bathroom. But if for some reason you wanted to move into an off-campus apartment or house, you have that option your junior and senior year. First year students can bring a car to campus. It's $65 a semester for parking. Um, and then y'all would just park by the fairgrounds uh, that's like right across the street from campus. Um, if you choose not to bring a car, campus is definitely walkable. It takes 10 minutes to get from one end to the other. Um, so you definitely don't need one, but if you choose to bring one, you do have that option. Lastly, I wanna talk about our dining plan. Your first year, you will be put on what's called the prime meal plan. That's an all you care to eat plan. Um, kind of like buffet style. So there are three different meal times throughout the day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And you would just swipe your card once throughout each meal time and get as much food as you need. So it's really nice. It saves our students a lot of money. So that is a little bit of an overview, uh, overview about um, like living on campus, um, being a residential student. But if for some reason you choose to be a commuter student, about 20% of our population are commuter students. Um, so it is pretty common for students to commute to BW's campus and they definitely feel immersed on campus. Like I said, we have about 100 clubs and organizations. So there's something for them to get involved with. Um, so if you are a commuter student, you would be able to purchase a commuter parking pass. And that just means you can park anywhere on campus as long as it's student parking. So that's pretty nice. Um, you could be put on a commuter meal plan and that's kind of pay as you go. We do have a lot of restaurants in the area. Like I mentioned, a Starbucks, we have a Chipotle. We just built an IHOP, which I am super excited about. So there are many different options for dining on and off campus for our commuter students. We also have a commuter lounge available, so you can access that with your student ID, and that has um, tables in, for you to do homework. There are couches where you can kind of relax in between classes. We do have lockers available, so you don't have to keep your valuables in your car. There's a TV and a DVD player where you can watch movies, so it's kind of nice to have that area for our commuter students for, in case they have some downtime. And then we also have a commuter activity board that plans different activities for our commuter students because again, we want you guys to feel really involved on campus. Um, a lot of those activities revolve around food, which I'm actually an alum of BW and that was my favorite part. Um, my favorite event was a $2 all you care to eat pizza event um, and that was open to residential students and commuter students and basically you would just 
pay $2 um, and then eat as much pizza as you could that was at that event. So it was a good way for commuter students to meet each other and then residential students as well. Um, so I mean, both living on campus and commuting are both great options. And I just wanna reiterate, like I mentioned before, the two year um, residency policy means you're either commuting from home or living on campus. So if you choose to commute from home, that's totally fine. We just say like, you can't live off campus by yourself until your junior and senior year. So that's a little bit about living on campus. Um, we'll kind of transition now into academics, which I'm sure is what, you know, a lot of you choose colleges for because it's based on your major. Um, so we've had 170 plus years of personalized education. Um, we have about 80 majors and minors on our campus, everything from natural sciences, such as biology, chemistry, um, pre-med, we have humanities like English, history, we have health sciences, um, we have a great exercise science program and pre-physical therapy. We have a great business program. Um, I attribute that to being so close to Cleveland because of a lot of our BW alumni will go work for Fortune 500 companies over in the Cleveland area. Um, um, we have an amazing music theater program. Our conservatory is actually ranked top 10 in the nation, so that's pretty noteworthy. Um, we have a great education program, so really anything you might be interested in studying, we definitely offer that. I do want to say too, we are bringing a nursing program, um, a four-year nursing program to campus. This is actually going to be our first year, so if you're interested in coming to BW for fall 2021 and you know you want to be a nurse or study nursing in school, I would suggest applying now um, because spots are filling out fast for that. Um, so we're super excited to bring that to campus this year. And then lastly, I want to say that we are building a new STEM building on our campus. So that's going to be available for our physics, engineers, biology, chemistry students. Um, I went on a tour of it the other day and it's amazing. They're brand new labs, classrooms, technology for students. So that's going to be open in January. So we're super excited to reveal that um, this coming January. I think another thing that makes our students so successful when it comes to academics is our class sizes. Um, we have about 3,000 undergraduate students on our campus, so the average class size is about 19 students in a class and typically it's in about an 11 to 1 student to faculty ratio. So you're definitely getting that one on one attention with professors. I think the largest lecture hall we have holds about 40 students. So you get to know your professors, you get to know your classmates, and your academic advisor will actually be a faculty member um, within the major that you're studying. So again, just that personalized attention that you really can't get if you go to a super big school. Again, it's all about what you're looking for when it comes to major um, and just that personalized attention you can get in the classroom, but that is definitely something that we offer here. So that's a little bit about our academics. Um, so we'll kind of transition. Oh, I did want to mention um, that 100% of BW students do participate in experiential learning. And when I say that, we do have an experiential learning requirement, which means before you graduate, you have to do one of these three things. You have to do research with a professor, you have to study abroad, or you have to get an internship. You can do all three if you're super motivated and ambitious, um, the sky's the limit. Um, but you have to do at least one because we want you to have something to put on your resume and talk about in interviews. Um, so that is just a requirement that we have before you graduate. And because of that, 90% of BW grads are employed or enrolled in graduate school within six months of graduation. I'm actually a statistic of that. Um, I'm involved in that statistic because I, was enrolled in graduate school right after I graduated from BW. Um, so it's just kind of nice to know that students are very successful moving on to that next step after they graduate from BW. We also have a great career services office that will help you with your resume, find internships and jobs. Um, so definitely check them out your first year and start working on your resume right away because you can start getting internships as soon as your sophomore year. So that's also super, super exciting.
Like I mentioned, um, when we started the presentation, um, I think another thing that makes our students so successful is being close to Cleveland, Ohio, because again, there are a lot of internship and job opportunities in Cleveland. And not to mention, it's just a fun place to be. Um, you could go to football games, baseball games, basketball games. We have a great theater district called Playhouse Square. There are tons of restaurants, um, things to do. So I think we're just in a really great location for our students, both for experience and just having a fun time. Um, and it's nice being in a college that's not in the city since we are 20 minutes away. So we kind of have that perfect mixture between being in a small town, but being close to a city. So I think it's just the best of both worlds. So now I want to kind of transition into financial aid and scholarships, which is a little bit different this year, but very important. So 100% of admitted students receive financial support from BW, whether that's scholarships, grants, or loans. Um, if y'all aren't super familiar, um, the FAFSA did open October 1st. If y'all aren't super um, comfortable talking about that, or you're not really sure what the FAFSA is, that's something that you can talk to me about. I'll be leaving my contact information at the end of this. Um, so that's something that we can chat about, but I would really encourage everyone to fill that out if you haven't. There could be federal loans or grants that you're eligible for that you really wouldn't know if you didn't apply for this. Um, so I would just encourage everybody, even if you think for some reason you won't be receiving any anything, um, you never know. So I would just suggest that everybody apply for this if you, if you are able. So this year we are doing things a little bit differently from me, what we have in the past. Um, so we are just looking at cumulative GPA when it comes to our scholarships this year. Um, a lot of testing sites have been closed due to COVID-19, so we are not looking at the ACT or SAT when it comes to scholarships. So we're just looking at your GPA. So as you can see, we kind of base the amount on what your cumulative weighted GPA is. So for example, if you have a 3.75, you would be eligible for our trustee scholarship. That's $19,000 a year, and that's guaranteed all four years as long as you stay above a 2.0 on our campus. So that's really nice to know that you don't have to apply for this. It's just something that you're awarded automatically. Um, so it's pretty basic. Um, if you know your cumulative GPA, you kind of can see what you would get as a scholarship. So again, if y'all have any questions about this, we can go over it, but I think it's pretty nice and self-explanatory. Um, and this chart is awesome. So you can kind of find where you are on this and then kind of base what scholarship you would get from there. I do want to say too, so our tuition actually includes academic support, tutoring, laundry, we put Microsoft Office on your computer. So our tuition, there is a lot included in that. As you can kind of see for our liberal arts majors, and that's everybody that's not in the Conservatory of Music, um, the tuition is about $34,000. Um, and then with on-campus meals and housing, the total is about $46,000. But like I mentioned before, 100% of our admitted students Students do get some sort of financial support um, and you could kind of see our lowest scholarship that we offer is 12,000 and that's per year so that covers a significant amount of that and you would just be so surprised when you get your financial aid award to see um, how little you actually owe after all is said and done so I know it looks very daunting looking at that number but we definitely try and make college affordable and manageable for students um, who really want to come to BW. And for our Conservatory of Music students, you can kind of see that your tuition is $37,000. Um, and with on-campus housing and meals, that's going to be $49,000. The reason it's a little bit more is because you guys get private lessons with faculty. So that's the reason there's such a difference between liberal arts and our Conservatory of Music students. So lastly, I want to talk about our application. Um, so it is live now. Um, you can apply on our website at bw.edu or you can apply on the Common application. If y'all aren't familiar with the Common app, it's a really great tool. It's a one-stop shop for students um, looking at colleges. 
So it's like you upload all of your materials onto the Common App and then it sends it out to all the schools that you're interested in. So we're on there. So if you would like to apply, you can add us to your list. We just need your high school transcript from your guidance counselor, a school report form from your guidance counselor. Um, we don't require a letter of recommendation, but if somebody has something nice to say about you, I like to read it. Um, again, we don't require test scores this year, but it never hurts if you would like to submit those. Um, and then if you're taking any college level courses, AP, um, IB, we just need those scores and that college transcript. And then if you're a conservatory student, we would need a music teacher evaluation, a music essay, and then there is an audition fee for our music students as well. I do want to mention too, we don't have an application fee, so it is free to apply. Um, and then we don't have any hard deadlines. So you can apply up to the full year um, and you won't lose your scholarship or anything like that. So you can take as much time as you need. Um, if you're kind of trying to decide between a few schools, just know like there's no pressure to decide right away. So I want to talk about how our visits are going right now. So right now we are offering virtual visits and on campus visits. Um, for our on campus visits, we are staying safe. We're wearing masks. Um, staying six feet apart, um, but that is something that we're doing right now. I don't know what next semester will look like, so if you're interested in coming for a visit to campus, I would do that soon. You can schedule that again at bw.edu. And then we are also having um, some bigger, I guess, events. Um, it's called our Yellow Jacket Visit Days. Um, still not very big. I think we're only allowing about five to six families and only about two people are allowed in each family. So we're still trying to keep it um, so everyone can socially distance. Um, but we have one coming up actually this Saturday, October 17th, and then again, Saturday, November 7th. Um, so if you're kind of looking to come on a weekend and kind of get a presentation like this and go on a tour of campus, these are some events that we have coming up in the future. And then if you're interested, you can connect with us on social media. Um, we have Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, a Facebook, and we haven't added this yet, but we have created a BW TikTok as well. Um, so we are making videos for that. And I think following these accounts are the best way to stay um, informed on everything going on at BW. So if you wanna give us a follow, um, just so you can stay in the know, um, I think that would be a really great idea. And that is really all I have for you guys today. So if anybody has any questions, I'm going to open the floor to you. Um, so yeah, if you guys have anything, fire away. I don't think anybody's in here. <laughs> yeah, Emily, great presentation. Oh, I thank love you. Wallace, super awesome school. So anyone who's watching, Baldwin Wallace is a wonderful institution to consider to apply to. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen real quick for some closing remarks for everyone. All right. I'll go to the next one, hopefully. Beautiful. Well, thank you for joining us, Emily. Thank you for everybody who tuned in for this as well, too, whoever is watching. Uh, <laughs> So quick survey at the end of this, after you close out the window, but feel free if you haven't signed up for more sessions, you can check out the schedule there at the website, which is anacac.org backslash virtual dash college dash exploration. And this recording will be available. So if you're watching this recording, we're so happy that you are here. But Emily, thank you for your time tonight. We very much appreciate it. Thank you for sharing the great word about Baldwin Wallace. Thank you so much. Have a good yeah, rest of your no night. No problem. Thanks, you Thank too. Bye-bye.